Hi, myself Dr. Abbas Watoli, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambur. This video is about PG Project Data Analysis using MS Excel. In the first and second part, we discussed about making the data set ready for analysis and also generating PVA tables. These are the tables that we have already created. And today, we want to do chi-square test and cross tabulation. So this is our objective. Association between education level and attitude and state. So we can go to the data set. See, this is the educational level. We have three categories, low, moderate and high. And this is the attitudinal state. We have two categories, that is negative and positive. So actually, when you have two categorical variables, and you want to study the association between these two categorical variables, you have to use the chi-square test. So first of all, we need a contingency table for these two variables. For this purpose, you have to go to the insert tab and take period tables. Then select the data range, the complete data you select. Actually, in the previous videos, I have used a data set with the 30 samples. In this case, I have increased the sample size from 30 to 100. It is just because for doing a chi-square test, we need minimum 5 frequencies in each cell. So, uh, here I want to take the education level and attitudinal state. First of all, you have to decide which one is dependent and which one is independent. Here, attitude is the dependent variable and education is the independent variable. Otherwise, we can say, attitude depends on education so drag the independent variable to the row label and drag the dependent variable to the column label as well as to the values now your contingency table is ready actually when we present more than one variable in a table we call it as contingency table or it is also known as the cross tabulation so i am making it in the proper order because it is presently it is high low moderate etc so just drag the moderate to above so we will get it in the proper order similarly the positive also i am taking it to the first so the table is ready i just renaming the column heading as education slash attitude so the table is ready I want to copy this table to our word file so this is the word file I have copied it and for beautification purpose I am selecting the wall borders and in the layout I am making it centrally aligned and the table is also I am centrally aligned and I will just resizing the table so this table is ready and now I am adding a caption for this using insert caption. So just like I told you if it is in the fifth chapter you have to select the table 5 then you have to give it a name. So I am giving a name that is educational level educational level and attitudinal state cross tabulation so that is ready now go back to the data set for doing chi square test actually you have to copy this table from here and paste it in a new excel worksheet as values so this is our table just make one more copy of this for writing the expected frequencies this is the observed frequencies or actual frequencies and this is the expected frequencies so you have to compute the expected frequency I'm deleting the actual frequencies from the second table and computing the observed observed frequency is equal to raw total into column total 55 divided by grand total 100 so I want to copy this to these three rows and writing the same equation here raw total into column total 
column total 45 divided by grand total 100 and I want to copy this to next three line so our expected table is ready actually using the inbuilt function chi square you can directly compute the significance of chi square test so for that purpose I am using the inbuilt function is equal to chi square test it is asking to select the actual data range comma the expected data range close the bracket and end now you got a value actually it is a very small value that is it is written in the exponential form to see the exact value I am copying it and pasting it here as values and trying to double click so this value is 0 0.0003 so it means that if this p value is less than 0 0.05 this test is significant otherwise it means that uh, there is significant association between education and uh, attitude that means the null hypothesis is rejected in this case so this is the simple way of doing chi square test in excel but if you want to see the chi square value you have to do it manually using the equation let's see writing the chi-square equation here this is chi-square test is equal to sigma observed minus expected whole square divided by expected so this is our observed frequencies and this is our expected frequencies and I am writing it as O and E we want to calculate O minus E so O minus E is equal to O minus E. I am copying this formula into two columns and three rows. It is ready. Next is O minus E square. So it is equal to this value into the same. Now copying into two columns and three rows o minus e square divided by e it is equal to this is o minus e square divided by e this one so i am copying the formula into two columns and three rows actually the chi value is that is the chi statistic chi statistic or chi value is the sum of these values so I am using the auto sum function and selecting all these six values and enter so chi square value is 20.25 here I am writing the critical value critical value critical value is the table value critical value at a 5% level of significance for the degree of freedom degree of freedom here is degree of freedom here is number of columns that is 2 minus 1 into number of rows minus 1 3 minus 1 so we will get it as 2 so that value from the table is 5.9 okay now we can write the p value we already computed the p value earlier it is 0 0.0003 0 0.0003 the next we can write the decision decision reject null hypothesis that means the calculated value of 20 is higher than the critical value so we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis it means that there is significant association between education and attitude of the student. So what we can do is uh, we have this formatting. I just want to copy this format and paste it into the new table because just to keep the uniformity, I am doing that. If we select this type of paste, we get that format. So the first table that is observed frequencies we already have in our word file. So now I am copying the expected table and pasting it here
and making all the formatting just like we did earlier central alignment and also we can resize it now we can give the heading for this table using insert caption and its a heading is education attitude attitude expected frequency table education and attitude expected frequency table okay its heading is okay actually in order to do the chi square test we will be starting with a null hypothesis that is h not is equal to h not there is no there is no association between there is no association between education educational level and attitude in the state here we can give another heading that is result of chi square test result of chi square test for independence so here we can write the result of hypothesis testing we can copy that part also from the excel this is that part table and paste it into the word file make give borders and also align into the center and resize it and bring it to the center so this is the chi statistics we can write the interpretation here that is there is significant association between the educational level level of the respondents and their attitudinal state so this is all about chi square test thank you for watching and in the next video we will be discussing about anova test